Well, I hope you're not too used to the new Steam Deck update because we just got another one, but this time it's in the beta channel. How's it going, guys? Welcome to Deck Ready, and yeah, just a couple days after we got the big 3.1 update for the Steam Deck, Valve has given us the 3.2 beta update, and it actually brings even bigger features than the last update, like features I really want. As soon as I saw the tweet, I downloaded the update, I restarted my Steam Deck. This one installed a lot better than the last update. I saw some people in the comments talking about this, but if you updated your Steam Deck from desktop mode before, it would create a boot loop where you had to basically recover the OS on your Steam Deck, which is not great. I wouldn't really want to do that. I got kind of stuck in a long restart after I applied the update, but I just powered off the device by holding the power button, turned it back on, and everything was working fine. And I saw that was helping out some people, but yeah. If you installed that last update, update in desktop mode and got caught in a boot loop. They say it's a known issue and I also noticed that there was another like hotfix update that came out later so it might be resolved by now. Just wanted to get that little PSA out there. So what features come along with this new beta update? Well first of all we've got a new fan curve that they've implemented into the operating system and they've also fixed an issue where if you take the Steam Deck out of sleep mode sometimes the OS level fan control wasn't working. That has been fixed and now again like I mentioned there's a new fan curve that should make the Steam Deck quieter overall without limiting cooling, which is good. The way they put it specifically is that they added an OS controlled fan curve to help improve the experience in low usage scenarios and adjusting how the fan responds to different scenarios and temperatures. Yeah, and I tried this out for around 10 minutes and it does seem to make the fan overall quieter. So like when you're on the desktop of game mode, that's a weird way to say it, but when you're on the home screen and the fan isn't really spinning up, it's spinning noticeably less than it was before and that makes it overall quieter. I started up Lego Star Wars and when the fan started to kick up, it was just as loud as before. I think that's just an issue, it turns out, with the way that the grills on top are positioned because some people have been getting rid of this fan wine by covering up two of the holes with tape. Multiple different companies are also looking into providing a better fan for the Steam Deck, so there will be recourse in the future, but this new update helps a little bit. I'm gonna be real, it's not really bothering me so much. My Steam Deck isn't as loud as the launch one that I got way back when the thing came out just over a couple months ago. That one was definitely louder for some reason. This new one is not as loud and it turns out they've been using two different fans so that could explain why. But the biggest feature that came along with this update, the one that got me excited to jump on camera and record this video, is that we got the refresh rate switcher in the right side menu, the like three dots button menu. We now have a slider where you can change the refresh rate of the screen to anything from 40 to 60 hertz. And I noticed when I was changing the refresh rate by moving the slider up or down, it would do the black flash when it was changing the refresh rate of the screen, but it was less than a second. So that shouldn't freak anyone out who's doing this for the first time. I immediately dropped it to 40 hertz and then I set the limiter to 40. So when I dropped the refresh rate to 40, it then gave me options for 20 frames per second and 40 frames per second. Obviously, I'm not using 20. I started up Lego Star Wars. I jumped into that same open world area. I was playing as Lando and Return of the Jedi, and it ran great. High settings, 40 frames per second. I turned the in-game V-Sync off, and it looks and feels so much smoother than 30 frames per second did in the same game. It's awesome. And this game on high settings can easily hit 40 frames per second. There are a couple levels. I think the Endor one specifically specifically where the frame rate chugs a little bit, but that happens on pretty much every PC out there. It's like a problem with the game as a whole. So yeah, the Steam Deck is fully capable of running this game at 40 frames per second. So doing it at 40 Hertz just makes it feel so much smoother. I'm so excited that they added in this feature this quickly because that means they're probably working on some other features that we don't even know about. It's absolutely wild how quick Valve is at updating the Steam Deck. It feels like we don't even have time to complain about bugs or a missing feature before they update it sometimes. It's crazy. The patch note specifically says they added experimental support for changing the in-game refresh rate. The refresh rate will be automatically adjusted to the desired option when going in and out of the game. There is a new slider in the quick access menu performance tabs that allows you to choose a screen refresh rate from 40 to 60. The frame rate limit slider values will update accordingly and will include one by one, one by two, one by four, or uncapped frame rate options. Other than that, this beta update also has a few extra bug fixes, so that's always nice. But yeah, having the screen being able to be limited to 40 hertz so you can run games at 40 FPS, that's awesome. It's really cool that the Steam Deck has built-in V-Sync so you don't really have to rely on the V-Sync in games. I just feel like some games would get tripped out by trying to do V-Sync with 40 FPS. So knowing that the Steam Deck has it already built in so when you change the screen to 40 hertz and limit the frame rate to 40 frames per second, nothing's really gonna get jacked up. That's awesome, that's what I like to see. It makes it simple, it makes it easy, and it makes it just fun. It's more fun to play games at higher frame rates. And while yeah, 
it is a bummer that a lot of modern games are struggling to hit 60 on the Steam Deck, it's because these are huge full-on PC games. Some of them are next-gen games, and especially with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, being able to run it at the highest settings at 40 frames per second, that's awesome. I'm not going to complain about that. I've seen people running it at 60, but you have to lower the resolution. I like playing at 800p, so yeah, I'm going to stick with this 40 hertz for as many games as I possibly can. The one I want to try out next and really dig into and play around with is Elden Ring. That one right now runs at a rock solid 30 frames per second. I just feel like I'll have to mess around with the settings more, maybe drop the resolution and implement FSR for that game. But if I can get it to run at 40 frames per second without drastically dropping the visual quality, I think I'm going to do that. So as far as features go that we're waiting for Valve to implement, the list is getting shorter and shorter literally by the day. In this update in the beta form, I haven't put too much time into it, just about 10, 20 minutes, but it was working really well. Obviously, I need to put some more time into it and need to test it out. And if you want to see and keep up with that, make sure you head over to Twitter and follow me at Stay Deck Ready. I'm going to let this LEGO Star Wars gameplay run for a couple of minutes just so you guys can see how 40 FPS looks. <laughs> 